Uh, this Inferno should be free, they cannot challenge it, and if they try to, they eat an ultimate. Welcome everyone, this is Diamond5 Solo Queue again. Today we are playing Thriller's build, so Time Warp Tonic and whatnot, but we add a little twist and this was really bad. <laughs> that was probably, probably the worst invade I've ever seen, but it's okay. Let's just recall. <laughs> alright. Alright, alright. Um, but we play this with a small twist. I am I'm very much a fan of uh, getting inspiration from other players, but then making the build your own. And a lot of people have requested going Lethality into Stormraiser, so I think most of you wanted Duskblade into Stormraiser or something, but um, I'm not too big of a fan of that. But the, on the other hand, Lethality in general is good early, and Stormraiser is a nice bridge between uh, between the damage and the and the, the well, between the early damage and uh, the crit you want later. And so I go for Ghostblade just to maintain my power in lane. This build plays exactly the same for the first levels as the Thriller build, because it literally is. But instead of going Dustblade second, I just go for Stormraiser. And uh, this should give a smooth transition into the late game. Because that's a problem I ran into. I... Uh, I just feel kind of useless in the later uh, parts of the game because, um, well, you don't have the, that much cooldown reduction to be playing around your ulti and, well, with Thriller's build, and your auto attacks are uh, pretty lackluster because you don't have any attack speed. So I think this might fix the issues I personally have with this build. Oh, goodness. All right. Yeah, we should win lane regardless. Twitch though, the stealth champion. I hope he doesn't kill us in lane. I hate getting camped by Twitch during the lane phase. Well, it looks uh, looks pretty good for us as of now. So not too phased. Just need to avoid getting grabbed, obviously. If Blitz gets grabbed, it's not too bad, because I can retaliate quite hard. I should have focused the Sivir a little bit more, though. Hmm. Yeah, it's very hard for him to get a grab with Spell Shield. Get the touch of Corruption on the Sivir. Yeah, Blitz is pretty low on health, which renders him almost useless. <laughs> yeah, get as much damage as possible. Hmm, this cannot take a tower shot. Alright, nice. They are warding, which is fine. Looking good farm wise too. Siva can actually spell shield the comet, but she might not know that. Or she might want to keep a spell shield around for the Blitz Grand Cook. Alright, still looking good. get some mana back. We have full health, so... Well, this is one problem. I don't use my health effectively enough yet. I need to trade more aggressively, so I get mileage out of the health regen from Corrupting Potion. I most of the time only use it for the mana, which is a mistake in my opinion. Hmm... 
Yeah, they need to respond to top lane soon, so I guess we're safe. Okay, yeah, Twitch is top lane. I saw him. So we can do whatever we want here. Looks like an easy lane phase. Sivak cannot really deal with... Uh, well, she can deal with Q-bounces, but she cannot deal with Make It Rain. Yeah, I baited that grab. Oh, I missed the cannon minion. That hurts. Why doesn't Blitzcrank have a stack for it anyway? This is something you always want to do when you play a tank support. You always want to keep stacks for the cannon minions. It's crucial. Missing some minions there, which is unnecessary and should stop. Alright. 58 to 39, but Silver will get this wave probably. Alright. Um, <clears throat> obviously, taking tower shots is not optimal either. But hey, at least it feels better to use my biscuit now. Since it also regains some health. She's probably back, so let's push this. And also this is way too beefy. Especially when I don't have any items yet. I'd really like to force the Sivir back before I leave. The Twitch might be coming though. Top lane is so much pressured though that he might not be able to afford it. Right, nice dodge. Okay, there's the Twitch. Flash for flash, it's okay. And his ignites. Uh, we trade, I trade Summoners with the Nautilus. Okay, let's roll. And Sivir here, fine. Yeah, that's nice, okay. We have a lot of pressure on the map simply because of top lane. We could be looking to take Dragon, but I'm not... Well, I need to go back right now, I have way too much gold, that's for sure. Oh, is he playing this goofy tower taking Scion build? <laughs> Probably. Alright, we should be playing, we should be covering top lane, that's for sure. Don't want to give him the tower top lane for free. Alright, yeah, we came out pretty much ahead of the lane phase. Again, this build pretty much always wins the lane, that's the whole point of the build. But the transition into the late game, I think, for me personally, because I really uh, enjoy having some attack speed in order to not fall behind and farm in the late game. Um, so for me personally, I think the Storm Razor might be a nice way of, uh, of warping the build. I don't like being... Okay, Twitch is top two, so... There's no pressure on the Infernal. Which, I don't know if it's good, because uh, we have a lead right now, and we should be using that lead to gain objectives. One of those objectives being Infernal Drake, obviously. Towers are nice, but... Um, my kind of mantra in League of Legends is, take the free stuff, win the game. And this Infernal Drake is super free right now. I want... Uh, cannot walk there. Mm, yeah. Let's go for Inferno. Ward over the wall and take the scuttle. What's going on there? Okay. I just saw... Uh, randomness on the minimap and I uh, wanted to check it out. Okay. 
Uh, this Inferno should be free, they cannot challenge it, and if they try to, they eat an ultimate. Yeah, completely blown out. They tried to do something to challenge the Infernal, which is greedy of them and definitely a mistake. They got ambushed. Oh, Twitch is here. That was my bad. I should have expected it. I, to be fair, that was just me not paying attention. I totally forgot they had a stealth jungler. I 100% forgot. That's that's so dumb of me. I need to keep in mind who their team, what what their team comp is like. Yeah, stuff like that should not happen. Oh well, we're still miles ahead though. For the Renekton, by the way, I might want to buy a Executioner's if he gets fed, but right now he's not a problem. Rift Herald is the next best objective, by the way. She's down. And by the way, I'm maxing W second, because uh, with Storm Razor my Q is not that valuable anyway, and uh, the attack speed steroid is way better with crit. I really want this Rift Herald. But my team really wants to fight, apparently. I've never seen that one. Nautilus ult gets cancelled if he dies. Goofy. Yeah, let's just pressure the tower. Let's not die, though. She lives. Again, I got ambushed by the Twitch. I didn't die for it this time, so I need to keep it in mind. I always, always forget. Hmm. That buff is spawning. Yeah, nice. I want this. Please give it. Oh, thank you. E maxed, and now we can take this Rift Herald uh, also. Well, the next Drake is Infernal, and it spawns before Baron, so I keep my ward for that. I don't think they challenge this. They might be. Switches around, I don't want to get killed by him, I have double buffs. <coughs> I retreat to safety of the turret. And this farm is just laying around doing nothing. Alright, um... 107 farm, I'm a little bit behind in farm, but there was a lot of fighting going on over objectives and... The lane phase was very short, in general. I need to spend my gold, though. I got Swifties, so I can run from the Twitch. And this one. Alright.
All right, looking nice. Cyan is looking for something. I'm not sure for what, but <laughs> this might be a very bad idea. What is he doing? He's just goofing around at this point. Okay. Let's get the wave. Infernal in 40 seconds. I see Twitch, so I cannot get ambushed. Which is valuable information. Twitch looking for me. I just create a zone for the for the scions so they don't chase him down. Nice, this gives me time for make it rain. Okay, she flashes. We can't just take turret though, the Oh okay. Yeah. Turret is gone. I overstepped. I should have ran immediately. The good old overstay. Come on, movement speed, save me. Oh, thank god. Alright, we should be fine. I do not yet have any attack speed besides W, so... My objective, objective taking power is quite low. But this is also something this build fixes. It takes power away from your ulti and converts it to your auto attacks pretty much, which is valuable in my opinion when you don't go for a max cooldown reduction build. Oh no, I don't have enough gold. Please leave me some farm. Alright, now I have. But I might not be able to back there, because my team is, uh, is already pushing again. Which is fine, but I need to be with them. So I can assist them in the fight. So it's better to, to be present with the items you have, than to be absent with upgraded items. Okay, this is just game. Nice Blitzcrank hook. <laughs> I was already a little bit sad that I wasted my ulti like this, but then Blitzcrank made it 100% worth. Okay, this is game. Hmm. No, I didn't even get to try out this build. Yeah, but this is just another example of how easily this build dominates the lane phase. Most of the time you won't even get to later parts, uh, parts of the game. This game, however, was um, carried by the Scion. Gotta give it to him, he will get my honor. Where is he? Scion, GG. <laughs> this dude just goofing around in ranked games. Am I? Ah, uh, I'm at 93 LP. So one win away from D4 Promos. And I did almost most damage in the game. Zed did a little bit more, but my damage was a nice 16k in a in a 19 minutes game. <laughs> oh, that was quick. Sweet and short. Alright, uh, I hope you like this. I will try this again and hopefully get to the late game where I can show off uh, how these, um, well, how the transition works between lethality and crit. 
it's a little bit more smooth with Storm Razor than with uh, just hard uh, buying the rapid fire cannon after going Duskblade. Well, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that and uh, leave me a comment on which builds you want to see. Also like if you did and subscribe if you're new and see you tomorrow.